Hey everyone, this is Max Story. I wanted to jump on for a few moments and, and just make a quick uh, video. I want to give a shout out to Keith Hall. He's a construction executive. And this morning I shared a post, or actually it was a video, about the two important things from leaders, the mirror and the window. So I'm not going to reteach that lesson, but anyway, Keith Keith liked it. He shared it. And, and in his share, he actually made a comment. And, I, and the comment was pretty powerful and profound and 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 uh, high impact leaders know all about it. Low impact leaders, they don't know very much about it. But I wanted to share it with you. Give credit to Keith Hall for sharing it. But he actually learned it from his very first uh, leader, Chris Jenkins. And he he's saying in the post where he shared my video, uh, Keith said, Chris told him, it's your job to take my job, and it's my job to make sure that happens. That's powerful. Only a secure leader will tell someone that. And in my 20 years of manufacturing from 1988 to 2008, when I worked in the corporate industry, I didn't see very many leaders at all that would tell someone, it's your job to take my job, and it's my job to make sure that it happens. What that means is you're responsible for growing you, and I'm responsible for growing me so that I can grow you. That's what the leader's job is. My job as a leader, high impact leader, is to grow me so that I can grow you and to grow myself so that I get a different job if I want it and to grow you so that you can take my job. And if I don't want to leave my job, you're prepared to take another job just like mine or better someplace else. That's what high impact leaders do. They grow and develop people. And when I checked out Keith Hall's uh, uh, LinkedIn page, I noticed he had a quote. It's, it's a pretty powerful quote that he had in his uh, summary up at the top. And it's a quote from George uh, Washington Carver. And I actually have it on the back cover of my book, Blue Collar Leadership, Leading from the Front Lines. And this book is for growing and developing frontline entry-level people. But on the back, this quote right here, Keith has it on his summary. Not because I have it on my book, because he values it. He heard it you know, from somewhere else, I'm sure, besides me. But I just want to read it to you. When you do the common things in life in an uncommon way, you will command the attention of the world. George Washington Carver. That's a phenomenal quote. And it doesn't matter if you're a frontline, entry-level worker or a top-level leader. When you do things in an uncommon way, you're going to command the attention of the world. I hope you think about these. And make sure you check out uh, bluecollarleadership.com forward slash workshop for some upcoming virtual workshops we're going to have. And uh, the first one that's coming up is going to be on uh, Blue Collar Leadership and Supervision, Unleash Your Team's Potential. We're going to help leaders learn the principles that actually help them become the kind of high impact leader that would say something like Chris Jenkins said to Keith Hall way back down the road. Keith's been making it happen for a while now, but his very first leader told him this. I'm going to say it one more time because it's powerful, then I'm going to let you go. Chris told Keith, it's your job to take my job. It's my job to make sure that happens.